So hello, welcome to the course on mobile sensing and robotics, um, which is taught here in the winter term 2019 at the University of Bonn. And um, I want to very briefly introduce this course uh, to you, what you can expect from that course and what you will learn throughout this semester. So we're talking here about autonomous mobile systems, so robots that move through the environment, that perceive their surroundings, take their sender information into account and estimate the current state of the world and then generate actions from this information. And these autonomous mobile systems, uh, there's a wide range of different setups. This can be autonomous robots, this can be drones, this can be cars, this can be mass robots, this can be satellites. All those systems typically operate in an autonomous manner. And everything circulates, or not everything, but most of the questions circulate around two questions. What are the two fundamental questions in here? These questions are, what is the current state of the world? So what does the world look like? And the second thing is, what should we actually do? Which action to execute? These are two central problems of robotics. And the answer to the first question, or the way to approach the first question, is actually through state estimation. So through our sensor observations, we can try to estimate in which state the world is in, in order to get an idea what the current state of the world actually is. And once we know what's around us, where we are, what the world looks like, um, and other things, we can try to reason about which action should the system execute to come closer to its goal or reach a certain goal state or achieve something. And by executing this action, we change typically the state of the world. This can be the state of the robot, but this can also be a manipulation to the world. So this impacts again on what we are going to observe, which observations we are going to obtain. If we tra travel to a new place, we'll see something new. So we will enrich our state estimation by, because we have more observations, we get better results, which then will probably lead to better decisions in terms of the action selection. And we basically have a cycle over here. And so most of the things that we are discussing in this course are either related to state estimation or are related to action selection. And we start with some fundamental basics about um, how to do perform state estimation from a probabilistic point of view, um, how to estimate uh, how the environment looks like, how to estimate where we are in the world, um, how to select actions in terms of how to plan, how to move through the environment, and how to interpret the world around us. So the topics that we are going to cover in this course is after a short introduction into Python, we will look at the technical concepts and we will look into something which is called the base filter, which is a recursive state estimation technique in order to uh, perform state estimation in an online fashion. So by whenever we get a new observation or a new control command for our system, we can update our belief. And we can use this in order to perform typical state estimation tasks like estimating where we are, solving the localization problem. Um, for that, we need to be able to describe motion, so how does the robot move through the environment, what are physical models of that, well, how do probabilistic models look like, how to interpret our sensor information, so something that's called a sensor model or observation model that we actually derive from this. And then we will look into state estimation problems like how can we do this, for example, using a Kalman filter or using non-parametric filters like the particle filter to deal with non-Gaussian distributions. How to build maps of the environment, um, how to perform motion planning, how to perform motion control, how to classify um, things in the environment in order to get not only geometric information but also semantic information. And then clustering and segmentation will also play a role. And so this is a sequence of topics that we are going to discuss in this course. And the course will be given by myself, Sol Stachnes, and by Nevet Chibrulu, um, who is working in my team. And we will teach this course together. So approximately half of the material will be taught by me, half by Nevet. And we are basically interchanging um, this, this lecturing. Uh, again, that's a course that we taught in Bonn um, in uh, the winter term. 2019, 2020, and the courses are now online here on YouTube, so I hope you enjoy the course material and learn something cool about robotics and mobile systems. So, thank you very much for your attention and enjoy the course.